So till now we have learned about right angle, straight angle, complete angle, reflex angle. And we learned these topics using clock diagram and using the concept of cardinal directions. And we, you know, we went very deep, very deep into understanding what these right angle, uh, straight angle, complete angle and reflex angles are. Now, the point that I discussed in the part one of the video uh, series on uh, on these topics uh, related to angles, they, we discussed that straight angle is two right angles and complete angle is four right angles. So, my uh, our discussion in this video will be related to this, uh, you know, I mean this only that. What's the relation between straight angle and right angles and complete angle and straight angle and complete angle and right angle? So in this video, I'll, uh, we will learn what is the relation between, I mean, it's a kind of revision, but again, we will go a little deeper into understanding the, the relation between uh, right angle and straight angle, right angle and complete angle, and right angle and straight angle, oh, sorry, uh, complete angle and straight angle. So. Here again we have taken, uh, taken cardinal direction di diagram and here we have taken a clock diagram. This is uh, the R hand, the R hand of this clock. Now when you move from north, uh, I mean if you rotate your head from north to your body from north to east and of course you are moving by, you are rotating by a right angle and we represent a right angle by this. And if we further move from east to south, then we will take another right angle. So one right angle plus one right angle, that is two right angles. And clearly this whole angle, we know that is a straight angle. And therefore we can say that straight angle, straight angle, straight angle is equal to 4, sorry, is equal to 2, is equal to 2 right angles. Okay, if we further rotate our body towards west, from south to west, we will take another right angle. If we further rotate our body from west to the north, that is the that you know that is the initial position where we started from. So this is another right angle. Now you know that if you take a complete rotation, that is a one complete revolution. Then this will be a complete angle. This whole is a complete angle. You have taken a one complete rotation, and clearly, one complete rotation or revolution is actually one one plus one, this one plus one plus this one, and plus this one. That is four. That is a complete angle, a complete angle, a complete angle will be equal to four, will be equal to four right angles, will be equal to four four right angles, right? Because one plus one plus one and plus one that is four. You take four right angles, then it makes a complete angle. Now, you can clearly see that. Can we clearly see, see that? Uh, can be seen that if you take one straight angle and if you take one more straight angle, 
then that's actually making a complete angle. One straight angle that was from north to south and then again another straight angle that is from south to north. Because why? Because you move by one right angle, then another right angle from south. Therefore, you have taken a straight angle. You know, this ray and this ray is forming a straight angle. And therefore, we can say that complete angle complete complete angle is also equal to two straight two straight angles right so straight angle is two right angles Complete angle therefore will be four right angles and on the basis of this we can say that complete angle will be two straight angles. A complete angle means one complete rotation, one rotation or one revolution, whatever you want to say. Similar thing can be seen from this clock diagram, can be understood from this clock diagram. That is, if your hour hand is at 12, and if it comes at 3, then you are making a right angle. And when it again moves from 3 to 6, it's making another right angle. One right angle, one right angle will make this straight angle. So a straight angle is two right angles. When the hand moves from six to nine, from six to nine, and again it's making a right angle. And when it again it's moved from nine to between nine, uh, from nine to twelve, it will again make a right angle. So complete angle that is one complete rotation. And complete rotation means four right angles and one complete angle will be two straight angles.